Chanel's Le Beige 2023 collection just launched in US and other countries and you see me like this because one, we're going to be creating a look using the products from this collection and two, because I'm about to review, well perhaps you have already watched my review of the new Dyson Air Straight. I bought it myself, I know, I know, you know how much I love my Dyson Air Wrap. I also have my Dyson Coral so I couldn't resist myself and I needed to try this new product by Dyson. But going back to Chanel and the Levage 2023 collection, which is in essence a travel collection. There's not really too many new products except of two of the, sorry, I'm just using one hand because I'm still recovering. My hand is not feeling the best. That's why I cannot really wear rings because it's still swollen and it's still painful. But anyhow, there's two new Rouge Coco Flash, the shades Destination and Escapade. And aside to those two new shades, there is one product that is gonna be launching delayed in many countries, including US, but there are some countries that they have received it. Lucky them, it is the Beige Healthy Glow Primer in the shade Rosy Beige, which basically is gonna give you kind of like a filter to your skin, diminishing the enlarged pores, smoothing out the texture. It looks fantastic. You can wear it alone or you can wear it obviously with makeup. Unfortunately, like I said, it is delayed here in US. It seems like it's going to be launching on June, crossing my fingers, but as soon as I get my hands on it, I will make sure to make a complete and comprehensive review of that product alone and you know perhaps doing another look <laughs> with the Chanel Levage collection. And as I was saying before, this collection is meant to be for traveling. So they have grabbed just a couple of their iconic products. So let's start with the first product, which is the Levage Water Fresh Tint. And you know, my friends, I have loved this for years. Um, this is perhaps my fourth or fifth bottle of it. It's just wonderful. I have it here in the shade medium. I will be leaving all those details also in the description box below. And this is the regular size. And as I was mentioning at the beginning of the video, this Levage 2023 collection is basically meant to be for traveling. So you will have a smaller size of the water fresh tint and it comes in all the shades. And that is fantastic for the purpose, for traveling or on the go. And now, if you're not familiar with the Water Fresh Tint, it's basically a water and then inside that kind of like water gel kind of product, it has suspended pigments. They will break down either with your hand or if you apply it with a brush, it will do the same thing. And at the beginning, it doesn't look like you're having nothing, but then afterwards, you're gonna see a beautiful veil of healthiness on your skin. It's just such a, amazing product i think a revolutionary product for being chanel and it just gives a very healthy beautiful just finish to the skin and i love the cooling effect too which makes it a pleasure to apply it mostly in hot summer days when you're like melting down and you want something that you know it just cools you off this is just fantastic and if you're new here to my channel welcome and welcome to all of you my beautiful friends I film in natural light, so I'm here right in front of a window. Okay, this is so nice, and right now my skin feels very dehydrated too. It must be because, you know, I'm I'm recovering of this <laughs> nerve injury right here, which is just like great. Exactly when I need it. No, I don't need this. I don't. This concealer is not a part of the collection, but you know, my friends, this is my favorite concealer is the Chanel Sublimage Le Corrector U, which is a three in one product. Basically a color corrector, brightening concealer. Like I said, three in one. And I'm just gonna apply just a couple dots. I spread the concealer, did my brows, and now let's go for the Healthy Glow Bronzing Creams, which I have here the original shade in Universal, which is not really Universal, but it's basically the shade 390. And then I have the one in Medium, which is the shade 392. And then the deeper shade 395, deep. So if you wanna see comparisons on my face, we swatches on my face, on my cheeks, I do have a full on review and video comparing all of the shades. Now, what is the main difference between these so this product has been reformulated 
ones. So the original, which I have right here, didn't have any coconut oil. And then that reformulation did include coconut oil, which a lot of people were very upset of because I know some people have sensitivity to coconut oil. Now this new travel size, which is smaller than these ones, and I know that because it's smaller than these ones doesn't mean that it's gonna be a lot less expensive. I mean, you may be just paying like, 10, I think it's like $10 difference or something like that. I mean, it is a luxury brand. We cannot expect to be half the price. Basically, you're paying for the convenience of, you know, being able to travel with your Chanel products. That's what it is, okay? Aside to that point, so they basically on this new formula for this travel size, which at this point in time, they are limited edition. Hopefully they will become permanent because I mean the Levage, I always feel like it's that perfect collection for traveling. But again, going back to the new travel size, it doesn't include coconut oil. Also, that universal shade for some people felt like it was a little too orange and too warm, which I find it to be my case too. So it doesn't have that orange undertone. It is still warm, but not as orangey per se. So you have here the lighter or original shade 390, 392, 395, light, medium, deep. So let's go ahead and swatch them right here so you can see them. And there you have it. I never had complications or fur or felt as that reformulated cream bronzer was a bad product at all. I never felt that way, but I know some people really felt like that it was too different. And yes, the main difference, I think it is on the texture, like on this original, I can, it's a still kind of like clay-like in the best way possible. While this one, the newer formula, they feel a little bit more creamy. I think regardless, the travel size is good news for a lot of people. And taking into account that this product, imagine I have, shouldn't have this product for so long, but I have it perhaps for four years. I know I shouldn't be keeping this for so long because these do have a shelf life of like 18 months. I'm gonna go with the medium shade. And one thing too is that the new primer in rosy beige, it comes on this kind of same component, but also on the travel size. And this product is just so beautiful. And yes, I can use the three shades. I use the shade deep mostly in the summer months when I have a good time. But the beautiful thing about this product is how easy it is to spread. So, so easy. There's no fuss. It is so beautiful and iconic. And honestly, if you get the larger size, it just lasts for so long. And like, for example, the lighter shade, when I'm in summertime, I can use it all over the face just to, you know, even up my complexion on my face towards my body. And it looks just fantastic too. Chanel Blush on a Stick in the shade 20. This is a gorgeous, very natural, neutral tone. You may feel like, oh, this is too much alike to the bronzers, but it's not. It does have a rosy undertone too. And I feel like these blush sticks by Chanel are totally underrated. And this is perhaps one of my favorite ones from them. I also love their Water Fresh Tint Blushes. They are stunning too, and they give a very healthy glow to the skin. Going next with the Chanel Le Beige Sheer Healthy Highlighting Fluid. And this is an excellent product that is not gonna give you too much of a glow. It just give you this Again, kind of like when you're hit by the sun and you get just a little bit of, you know, that extra shine. And that's characteristic from Chanel too, is that everything is done so elegant, not overly done, not emphasizing, you know, too much of too much. And actually, this same product was used by the makeup artist at Chanel that was doing my makeup during the grand opening of the Chanel boutique in Beverly Hills. He used this same product on me and it looked fantastic. I absolutely love it. 
it does have a beautiful translucency too and a little goes a long way i'm talking about highlighter i already applied it on me <laughs> but they are reintroducing in a travel size their hair face and body oil which you kind of have a little bit of not really a shimmering kind of effect because it's not going to give you color it's not going to give you too much of too much it just gives you a little bit of what you see right here just a very very subtle glow smells fantastic i bought it last year but it's the huge size it's a size of like this and i left it on my bathroom because that's where i was applying it on so now you can get it in the travel size which i feel like is very convenient and, and it's an oil that is not as sticky it doesn't transfer it smells really good it stays on the skin beautifully and it doesn't really have a tint now for eyeshadows i'm gonna go with that le beige healthy glow natural eyeshadow palette in warm and this is permanent. This came out, I think, two years ago. I'm going to go with my Sonia G Classic Crease Brush. And I'm going to apply it above the crease. And I'm just grabbing a tiny, tiny amount because I just want a very subtle bronze tone on my eyelids. With a Sonia G Builder Pro, I'm going to go to this shade. And I'm applying it on the outer third. This will give you a beautiful summery look. I'm just going to turn the brush and I'm going to go to the lightest shade and I'm applying it for an inner third all the way to the middle of the eyelid. I love this eyeshadow palette. It's so good. Now this is not a re-promote. I just wanted to get something going right here. With my finger I'm just going to go to this shade and I'm going to tap it right in the center to open my eyelid and make it look a little bit wider because I do have hooded eyelids. With a BK Beauty 204 brush, I'm gonna go to this shade and I'm just gonna diffuse it on the lower lash line. I'm gonna go to the same brown shade and I'm gonna pack it just a little bit more on the outer V with a Sonia G Mini Booster. Just right here. And this will just add a little bit more depth to the eye look. Same thing, I'm going to go with a Sonia G Flat Definer. And I'm going to go into the brown shade. And I'm going to pack it a little bit on the outer third of my lower lash line. With a refer number 23 brush, I'm going to go to this very beautiful pearly shade. And I'm going to take it on my inner corner. And also on my brow bone. I went ahead and applied eyeliner and mascara off camera and now let's go into the lipsticks. So this collection comes with two new shades of the Rouge Coco Flash. One of them is Destination and it's the one that perhaps attract me the most because of the shade. Let me show it to you. It kind of reminds me a little bit, at least from the promo images, to Boy. While the other shade, Escapade, is a little bit more of like a warm reddish tone. Beautiful too, but this shade, I was like, oh yes, <laughs> this is talking my language. This is definitely, look at that shade, gorgeous. And I'm going to compare it with Boy too. So this is the shade, oh, so creamy, so juicy, Destination. And let me show you against Boy, which is an OG, this never fails to me there you go that's boy i feel as destination has just a little bit more warmth to it also with that pinky tone but it also has a little bit of peach not as cool as boy let's apply destination Mm. gorgeous shade oh my gosh i need to buy a backup i know myself i know myself if this is limited edition i need it in my life forever mm. forever this is fantastic and um, by the magic of editing my hair is done i know i know friends and i went ahead and reapply this baby because <laughs> i was <laughs> recording my video demonstrating this new Dyson Airstrade and 
friends, you have to go and watch that video if you want to see how to use it, all the details, all the features. But let me tell you, the innovation. What a product. 100% recommended. So while I was doing all of that, I was like kind of like getting, you know, a little bit sweaty. So I went ahead and reapplied the lipstick and also I put a little bit of lip liner. All those details will be on the description box below. But now because we're talking about Chanel Le Beige, let's go for the fragrance of the day and it's gonna be Chanel Beige, which has beautiful notes of freesia, frangipani, and a little bit of honey. It's just such a gorgeous fragrance. Let's Mm, such a classic, so beautiful, mm, elegant, but at the same time understated, just perfection. But here you have it, my friends. This is my final Le Beige 2023 look. What do you think about it? I didn't pick up the Rouge Coco Flash in Escapade because I feel that I don't know, the shade is beautiful and I know when I'm, you know, with a full tan having this kind of like earthy, reddish, terracotta kind of tone will look incredible. I just, I just wasn't feeling it. I'm honest with you, I just wasn't feeling it and there's so much more coming for summer and I'm having my eye on the primer, on that little primer that is like, why is not here yet? <laughs> I wanna see it now. So anyhow, my friends, this is it. This makes it for this video. This is my Le Beige complete look. Let me know which of the pieces from this new collection, which of the travel pieces you're getting. I'm gonna be going for a little summer vacation. It's gonna be short and sweet. It's gonna be tiny, just a few days in a tropical paradise that I cannot wait to go and relax. I'm gonna vlog a little. I will take you there. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel with the post notification bell on. So definitely I see the benefit at having travel size of these magnificent products from Chanel because definitely are iconic and they work and they look beautiful and they give you the most stunning look ideal for summertime. So fresh without being too much and it just looks fantastic. I mean, I had been doing my hair after I did my makeup and you know how, you know, like you start kind of like sweating or feel the heat around you and it can mess up your makeup. No, yeah, it's perfect and I didn't even set it. And that is part of the magic of Chanel makeup. Anyhow, friends, let's continue the conversation in the comment section down below. Let me know which of the travel size products you have already purchased, which are those that you're most excited for, and while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, once again, go ahead, subscribe to my channel. It's completely free. Make sure you have that post notification bell on so you don't miss any of my uploads. Also, because you don't wanna miss any of my posts on my community tab, it kind of acts like an Instagram that I can let you know ASAP as soon as something new has dropped. So it's very important to stay in communication that way. And if you're in Instagram and TikTok, please go ahead and come and follow me there. If you like this video, super important, please give it a thumbs up, share with family and friends. And if you're not done watching my content, I will be leaving a couple other videos right here that I'm sure you're gonna love. Until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.